Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the array function merge, uh, which just takes two arrays and merges them into one. So let's just look on my screen here. I have a variable that just sets up an array. You can see it's A, B, C, D. Uh, so we can go ahead into data manipulation and under arrays, we can find this merge function here. And we see it merges an array with an existing array. So our existing array, we'll go ahead and just select our array variable. Uh, and now the value is going to be the array we want to merge with that. So we actually need to create an array. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll just create a text input. And I'll just call this, um, instead of new array, I'll say array2. Not to com be confused with the array we're going to create. I'll make this a list here. So right here, I'm just going to map up the input to the value here. So the existing variable is our variable called array. And then the value we're merging it with is array2. And that will update uh, this array variable and create a brand new array. So here, if I do, we'll say x, y, and then we'll do z, we should see a brand new array, a, b, c, d, x, y, z. So one other thing I want to point out with merge, like some of the other array filter or array functions, is that there are filters that can accomplish similar uh, things. So if we go to add filter here, and we just type in merge, you can see there's both merge and merge recursive. So merge merges the first element uh, of both arrays together and returns a new array, and merge recursive will do that for all elements. So just real quick uh, with merge here, if I do uh, my input and hit save, you can see we should get uh, just the same result here, A, B, C, D, and X, Y, and Z. Um, so there you have it, merge is very handy when needing to uh, basically combine two arrays into one. Also be aware that there is the merge and merge recursive filter uh, at your disposal as well. Um, so with that, thanks for watching, hope it was helpful.